Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. I'm the creator of the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin. And in this video, we're going to give you an overview of the documentation on how to use the Divi Gallery module and connect it with a custom field or multiple custom fields and show images in your gallery module in Divi. This is really exciting, so be sure to follow along and you can also follow the written documentation that's available here on our website. And um, we also have obviously the other documentation links here, but for the gallery especially, this is exciting because there's no other solution out there like this. And it works with the free version of advanced custom fields. And you can also use it with just the built-in custom fields. You don't even have to install another plugin um, if you don't want to. So we're gonna cover all of this so again, here's the video you're watching now, and if you prefer to follow along, here's the written guide. We're gonna jump over to a demo website, and we're gonna talk about um, how to set this up. All right, so here I am on a normal page. I'm in the Divi Builder. I'm gonna go ahead and add a gallery module and just show you something. So obviously you could click here and add gallery images. You could upload files or add them from your media library. But what if you wanted to have a dynamic gallery. Until now, that was impossible. Uh, with our plugin, it's now possible. So you would expect to have some kind of way to do that in Divi, but it's not. So that's why we create these kind of solutions for you. So I'm going to go ahead and go set up the plugin. So right here, activate and install or activate our plugin, the Divi Dynamic Helper. And now I'm going to actually upload some images so that we can use them for our demo. So I'm gonna to go to the media library and do that now. Now there's two ways that we can do this to get the images into a gallery using custom fields. I think I'm gonna show you the easy way first. So go over here to plugins and install advanced custom fields. So, you know, our, our plugin will work without this and we're gonna to get to that, but I wanna show you the easy way to do it first. So here we have advanced custom fields. Go ahead and install and activate that. Now make a um, new field group. So when you go here, you can um, make a new field group. It's just how what they call it when you add fields. So, um, all right, so now here comes the fun part, adding the fields. So what we want is fields for someone to choose images and we want them you know, to, to upload an image and then um, to each field, right, in the back end of a page or post. So I'm gonna click on Add Field, and this is very important. So this first one, we're gonna make an actual uh, group. So it's not gonna be an individual image field, it's going to be a group. So let's label it that way. In fact, I'm gonna call it um, Gallery Group, just for, for naming it, so that'd be the field label. The field type, make sure you choose Group down here near the bottom right here group all right so you notice that right here now there's this new area that appears to add fields within this group okay so this is this is again very important for the gallery to work so we're going to add a field here so i'm going to use a very simple naming pattern here i'm going to say uh, image one and you can you can do the same if you want um, field type will be image okay image right that's great it makes sense i'm going to add uh, five of these total so you can go ahead and, and do something similar you can add 20 whatever you want to add however many custom field options you want when you're putting images in that's what you would want to add right now all right so i've added all of those now i'm going to publish this field group now let's go to the back end of a page and look at this, here's our field group. And again, we're in the back end of just any old page that it was that this field group is assigned to, of course. And here I can just go ahead and choose images. So let's, let's choose one. Um, in fact, let's choose all of them. I'll just choose them in order here. This would be what your client would do, or if you wanna do it um, to keep someone out of the builder or just for your own convenience to stay out of the builder so that you're not always opening the gallery module. So let's update that. So now we have obviously the content added to the fields. Now let's link those fields to the gallery module, right? 
So we're gonna open up the Divi Builder. All right, I'm gonna add a gallery module and this time we will have our icon that appears here. So it's a dynamic content icon. We've added that with our plugin. So when you click on that now, now again, here's where it kind of is, is important. So you don't see a field here that says gallery group. Remember we made a group and then we put images into it. This is a limitation. And again, we're the only ones with this solution out there for Divi. So you kind of have to work with what's possible. There's no option to choose the group. That would be nice. Instead, we've come up with a little clever trick where you just choose the first image and then all of them will appear in the gallery. So choose this gallery group image one. All right. So it has to be an image that's actually selected. There's not going to be a preview. That's you'll see it when we exit the builder. Let me, let me explain one more thing. We chose image one. You could choose any image there from that list. But the problem is it has to be a field that has an image in it. If there's no image in it, then none of them will show. So if I would have choose, if I would have not added an image to field one, the other four would not show. By choosing field one as like a general rule, most likely you're, that's why would you skip that one? You know, why would the client leave you know image one blank? That's that's really the only caveat is to make sure that you always have when you're adding images that you don't skip field one. You know, sometimes you might have, you know, 10 fields, but you only have five images or something. Just make sure that the, that the images are in um, one through five or something. Yeah, anyway, that's how simple it is. Again, we're, we're just choosing the dynamic content and choosing that first image in the group and then saving. Now we are exiting the builder and there are the images. In fact, here's one more. All right, how do you like that? Now, let me just let me just prove it. Let's get rid of this one just so I can show you that it's working. Uh, let's get rid of this one here. So now that one's not selected. Update. Now we're going to view the page. And guess what? Now we have four images and you don't see that one, do you? So this is um, fully functional. It's working and it's it's awesome, really. This is exciting. There's no other solution like this. Um, so we're really excited. Now, like I was saying, this is the this is the easy method. There is another method if you did not want to use advanced custom fields. We actually write about that over in the written tutorial here. And that's using image IDs. So every time that you add an image to the WordPress media library, it WordPress gives it an ID. Let me show you that. So if I come in here and click on this image, then you go up to the very top. Um, you may not be able to see it in the video, but up in the, the search bar, it's going to say, you know, your website slash WP admin slash upload dot PHP item equals and then a number. There's going to be a number when, when I'm viewing this page right here. You'll see that number. So this number happens to be 44. All right, so that's the image ID. So here's what I could do. If I didn't want to have their plugin and I just wanted to use default, you know, custom fields, I could come here and add a new field and say, um, let's call it gallery image IDs like that right here. Remember it was 44. So I'll put 44. And, um, in fact, let's do one more. You can separate them by commas. So I, I picked the bulldozer, let's do this one, that's 43. All right, so now we have two images here. So I'm gonna update this field, and now I'm going to switch the gallery to this custom field. So I'll go ahead and remove what wasn't working there. Okay, so now I go here and I select that new field, gallery image IDs, and it, again, it won't show you in the builder, so we'll exit the builder and there are those two images showing. So you could use any type of custom field, even if you were using advanced custom field or, or pods or Metabox or any of those other plugins, it doesn't matter because it's just a, a generic text field. All you have to do, go to your media library, go through here, look at the IDs of these images 
40, 41, 43. In fact, I could put some more in here just to show you. Uh, we could put 42, 41, and it's really just commas, separating the IDs by a comma. And now watch, let's see how many are here. So they're all here now. It's really that simple. All right, so again, you can follow the written tutorial here over in our documentation area. That pretty much sums it up. We really, really are excited about this. We hope that you enjoy it and we hope you share the word and we hope that you can give us a five-star rating in the marketplace. That really helps us a lot to get the message out there. Um, again, we love creating innovative products that solve problems like this and that's, that's kind of our specialty. Um, not just the same old things other people make, but something you know, very, you know, like a utility like this, something that's very useful. We hope you enjoy using the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin.